In this section I'm going to show you how to use promotional codes. Uh, these are the codes that you can create that will allow you to give your own customers discounts that you can control. These discounts can be used um, either when a customer phones up to make a booking or calls in in person um, or can be used in the online booking system. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to show you how to set up one of these promotional codes. So I'll go into my company and scroll down to the section on discounts and promotions. There it is. And I'll click in there. Now at the moment we don't have any set up, so I'm going to set up a new one so you can see how you can control them. Um, so I'll add a new one. We're going to call this um, winter discount. And we're going to give it a promotional code of winter1 do it's active I'm gonna make it a percentage discount so it's not a fixed amount percentage discount and I'll make it a 10% discount uh, the exclude amount will leave at zero will say that the minimum number of spaces that are to be booked is still one because this this will apply whether someone makes one booking or several um, I'll leave it applied to all events so you can actually filter on which events you want it to apply to we're gonna leave it as all and then looking down here we'll leave days of the week alone it can apply to any day of the week although if you want to you can filter it to say that it only applies to a particular uh, weekday or weekends um, we can also filter by months of the year so you could say well it only applies in say the winter months um, you know December January February um, we can also choose whether to include the cost of any booking options. Now I'm going to remove that, I'm going to say no, so that when people book, if they do select extra items, those items aren't included in the discount. And finally, there's a, these uh, couple filters here which allow you to um, specify whether the customer has already taken a particular course or event, and only if they have will they then get the discount and also they might they you can also specify whether it has to be taken within a certain number of weeks um, lastly at the bottom here are some booking date restrictions and event date restrictions so the booking date restrictions allow you to say well this discount only applies if the person books between this date and this date um, the second set of dates restrict whether the event itself is between a given date and this date and in fact I'm going to use that just so you can see it working I'm gonna say that the latest date that this applies to is let's say um, oh, I don't know 30th of November so this is just purely as an example and what it will mean is if um, if we try to book this and use this discount on any course after the 30th of November then obviously it shouldn't work so that's my uh, promotional code set up I'll click on the OK button there it is you can see it's 10% discount the promotional code is winter1 and it only applies to events starting on or before Saturday 30th of November and booking options will not be included in the discount. Okay, what I'm going to do now is demonstrate that promotional code in use in the online booking system. So I'll go through and select something in the online booking. So we'll use the introduction to Microsoft Word and we'll book, say, the 25th. Um, and I will have car parking pass and lunch because those are additional options you'll see how that's added 15 pounds there's the cost 300 and it's added 15 um, I've prepared someone here already to save me typing in all the details so let me just enter that now So there are the details. Now we come into the important bit. Here we go. Promotional code. If you have a promotional code, please enter it below and click redeem. So let's try it now. I put in winter one and click on redeem. 
then there we go. This is a valid code and gives you £30 discount from our winter discount 10% promotion. And you'll notice it's calculated it just on the 300 It hasn't included the £15 because we asked it not to include booking options. Now, whilst I'm here, I'll actually show you also what happens when we try and book after the 30th of November. So I'm going to go back here, change the date, and I'll go to December. We'll try the 13th of December. There we go. Go back to the payment screen. Now, if I try to redeem this code, it says, there we go, this discount is only valid for events that start before Saturday 30th of November. Click on the OK and we've no longer got a discount. So you can really control when these codes get used by your customers. Anyway, to actually complete the booking, we'll go back here, might as well flick that back to a date where we know that does work. So back to the 25th, back to the payment screen, click on the redeem, there we go. It said that's valid again. As you can see, it's taken the total price down to 285. I'll whiz through and just enter any old details into here just so we can see the booking completing there we go and put in some code there right confirm details and here you'll see the customer can then see okay that's what I've booked it costs 300 pounds um, I've gone for two additional options there's my discount of 30 pounds obviously 10 percent so the total amount to pay is 285 and the total amount to pay now is 285 so that's what will be taken off the card and then we'll go ahead and make the booking and there it is it's successful click on the view confirmation and there we go there's the the booking which has been given the discounted price and the confirmation shows that it shows that it's been given a 30 pound discount promo code winter one um, and what's been debited off the card is just 285 finally I'll show you the uh, promotional codes being used through the diary booking system so that if you've got a customer on the phone or um, in front of you and they quote this, the promotional code then I'll show you how it can be used here too so I'll go through do a booking as normal um, so there we go we're booking the um, introduction to Microsoft Excel I'll click on the, um, the lunch option and the car parking pass again I'll then enter the promotional code of winter one click on redeem and there you go it's calculated um, that we have the winter discount discount amount is 30 pounds so the grand total is 285 just the same as the online booking uh, and then the booking just proceeds as normal so I'll just um, pop in anyone here just so we can see the booking completing I'll do a take payment later I think and then yep yeah, there we go here's the confirmation so it shows 300 pounds um, there are the options subtotal three three hundred and fifteen but there's the discount of thirty pounds making the grand total two hundred and eighty five I'll go ahead and make the booking and then just click in, click on the finish button um, and there we go there is the completed booking um, including the discount